YouTube, welcome to the second Throwback Thursday. Uh, this one is a bit of an immemorium video, but uh, more on that in the middle. And it harks back to the 17th of April 2010 with another pulp game called Germany Claims the Obelisk. So it was more from uh, We Heroes There, and uh, it was me facing off with uh, some strange aliens, as you can see in the picture. Guess who they are? Against, uh, well, German troops. And as the struggle for the obelisk continued, strange aliens did appear out of nowhere in the jungle. They surrounded the enemy and the sack suspects that they might be the ones responsible for building the strange item in the first place and taking care of the locals. While the Germans, Nurglites and the undead minions of Professor Schwiebelim Arse moved towards the objective, two of the strange aliens that the sack had labeled as predators studied a glowing object turning out to be an ancient sword with great interest. Schwiebelim Arse then suddenly ordered a bunch of his cronies to ambush a group of those predators, but the sight of the fiendish faced aliens made them run faster than they appeared. So, uh, yeah, as you could see at the beginning, I told a bit of an immemorium, and that's because Professor Schwiebelim Arse, or Bjorn as he was called, or is called, uh, well, uh, he passed away a few years ago. Uh, was a great guy and a good friend, so uh, that's why I call this a bit of an immemorium video, because here he is. This was our Bjorn. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna talk too much about it or I'm gonna cry again, even on my 44, but uh, yeah, well, um, let's uh, continue with the battle report then. So, uh, the apparent leader of the Predators moved towards the monolith, bellowing an animalistic war cry challenge to all who dared approach him to a duel. The other Predator charged out of the ruins towards the Germans, threw some poisonous canisters that caused them to fall back in chaos and be gunned down by the supporting LMG gunners in the wide open. The Nurglite cultists on the far flank were wiped out in the meantime by combined German and necrotic powers. So it was a four-way battle as usual, so uh, we'd like to do that. But as uh, Schwiebel and his zombies answered the challenge and the Alpha charged in, hacking furiously at his opponent with poisonous blades and striking faster than a lightning bolt. As by a miracle, however, the Professor survived the encounter, barely, and his zombies then overwhelmed the monstrosity by sheer size of numbers. The last of the aliens stalked around the ruins while the Germans and the undead closed in on the monolith, and though he managed to wound Helga, he was subsequently also dispatched by a mass of hail gunfire. Or a hail of mass gunfire, oh my god, yeah. The moment I'm taping this is 34 degrees, so my brain not working. The Germans kept on boasting that they had a bigger one, <laughs> though the sack analysts suspect it's more a bit of a compulsory composition. So... After the Germans had shut down the Professor and consolidated forces around the obelisk, they secured it for the secrets of the Reich. Or didn't they? So, that was it. The next battle in our uh, long ago pulp campaign was uh, quite fun. Uh, predators were hopefully see outclassed and outmatched and outnumbered, but, uh, well, it was uh, fun to play them. And uh, I'll be back in a few with the uh, next battle report and it will be pulp again. Thanks for watching and see you next time. If you like this kind of stuff, you know the drill. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, give a comment. Let me know that I'm not doing this for nothing. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you.